It's me, Mario. Hello. Yo, Poison Ivy, welcome back. My speedruns are so garbage today, I should probably quit speedrunning forever. Yeah. Like, this is actually worse than last time. How did I forget to open the cannon? Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. I am the worst speedrunner ever. Princess. We've been over this. Peach. I have reset three times now, and all three of them were 100% my fault. Nothing went wrong, I just did it wrong. Well, a few things went wrong, but they were minor, and I didn't care. Okay, let's see if we can get this, you know, just for fun. Whatever. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah, if I could just get the stars in the proper order and not make dumb not not make dumb mistakes, I would actually get a run done. Holy cow. I can't believe this is my third reset. That is pathetic. That is literally pathetic. All because I forgot to open the cannon on my third, third attempt there. Alright, fourth time is the charm. No one says that. Okay, good enough. Bonking for no reason. Computerless until Friday? Oh man. I'd, I'd feel pretty naked with my, without my computers too, honestly. I'd be like, what am I supposed to do with myself when I'm not at work? Honestly. I can't stream if I don't have my computer. I mean, I'd, I'd find other stuff to do, but still, I just can't imagine it. And we are done here. What happened? I was stupid, that's what happened. I forgot to open the cannon when I was collecting the red coins. And so I couldn't shoot myself at the center island. And it was so dumb, I wasn't gonna accept that. Okay, this time we're gonna remember to open the cannon first thing when we jump back in. We open the cannon. We open the cannon or else we reset again. And we do not want to reset ever. Not over something stupid like that. I just had one job. I just have to open the cannon. That's it. Now I can get all the red coins. Also, welcome back, Vinny. How are you? Okay, cool. Got the coin. Okay, what was that ground ground for? Whatever, let's keep going. I'm not resetting over that. That would just be dumb and tragic. Ow! Holy cow, that hurt. Why did I do that? You got 26 wins on endurance? Cool, my current record for wins on endurance using Tetris is... 35. Got it on stream too, made a highlight of it. It was a good time. Hey. This time the cannon is open. You're trying to get more, but yeah, it takes a while. It's almost not worth it sometimes. And I was reviewing the VOD of that time I got those 35 wins, and I'm really not sure why I lose. The computer isn't even hard dropping, they're like soft dropping the whole time. So I'm like, they aren't even playing as fast as me, I should be able to survive indefinitely, but no. Somehow I managed to fail. Yeah. 
Okay, just get the thing. I wanted to land on it and I missed. Amazing. Yeah, it took me like, what was it, 49 minutes or something to get those 35 wins, so it freaking takes a while. Jane Chomp's gate, baby. Is it because we overbuild? Yeah, I always like to build a lot so I can get like back-to-back -back Tetris combo thing or get like two or three Tetrises in a row. I'm definitely overambitious with my Tetris building sometimes. <laughs> Quite often to my detriment. But then when I go into competitive multiplayer, I think I actually try not to overbuild and I try to play it safer. Unless I'm building up for the combo, but even then, if the opponent is faster and does T-spins, I lose because I can't do T-spins. Like, I can do them, I just can't set them up. To the island in the sky, baby. Almost forgot which way I was gonna go, but I'm good now. I'm good. I'm going this way. It's always a risk to attempt this route because I'm not good at this, but yeah, see, that happens sometimes. Oh well, what can you do? And try again. Oh my gosh. I'm not resetting over stuff like this though. We gotta keep going. You hard drop and mess up when you're playing for a while? That happens to me too. Like sometimes I will just have really bad hard drops. And I will literally screw up my own game because I'm placing all the pieces in the wrong place. Here we go. And it's in single player, so I have no one to blame but myself. How do you get all the characters? I don't know. I think they are unlocked in story mode, for what it's worth. Cool, cool mountain time. Three stars here, and then on to Womp's Fortress. And this time we have a shot at not dying on the wall kicks will work star. So let's, I, I would say let's do that one first, but I think if I don't, if I don't do this star first, it'll probably pop up that text box again, and I don't want that. This music is so grating, especially later on in the game where it plays in every single freaking course, in the upstairs portion. Maybe not every course, but like TikTok clock rainbow ride. Oh, I hate this music playing all the time. Okay, I don't that was weird. I don't know how I did that, but I kinda like it. He likes it a like he didn't finish his bonk animation before falling down, so then when he, he it started over somehow. I don't even know. That's amazing. I haven't even finished story mode. I'm stuck because I'm bad at fusion. Like, I hate fusion so much. I don't know how to play it. Oh, that was great. I love that. This worked perfectly. Now if we can just wall kick up, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Okay, Mario, just get the thing, please. Here we go. What time is it for me? 1.59 a.m. Pretty much 2 a.m. at this point. One more star, and it's the penguin one. Oh my gosh, Mario, no! Grab the penguin. Holy cow. We had such a good start there, and then it got ruined. Can't see, can't see. Alright, let's go. Well, that's tragic. Penguin? Penguin? 
Well, rip. I probably could have teleported back up. I don't know if that'd be faster or not. What a load of garbage. Are you serious, Mario? Just get up there. What time do I finish work? 11 p.m. That's what time I leave, anyway. See, that wasn't so hard, Mario. All you had to do was that. I'm not resetting. I've already reset three freaking times, and I'm actually tired of it. Here we go! That was a dumb way to... That was a dumb way to lose time, though, freaking messing up that star. Like, are you serious? I'm just gonna keep going. I want to get to Jackbox at some point. We need to finish a run first, though. Because I said so. Ha. Huh. Anyway. Chip off Womp's block, baby. Here we go. Xbox skip. And triple jump. Okay, triple jump again. Nice. It makes me so mad. You guys never appreciate our stony stoniness. Now let me crush you. For no reason. Crushed again. Curses. Fifty star door skip is gonna kill the run anyway, so there's no point in resetting hoping to get a PB anymore. It's stupid. Fifty star door skip is stupid. I'd consider running a better a different category if I was better at the game. So we can't get the red coins yet. We have to do top of the fortress and everything else first for that owl to even exist. Okay, let's not kill ourselves now. That jump got messed up, so let's try it again. There we go. Okay, 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 nope. Nope. That, nope! Okay, what? Is there a way to salvage this? Screw it. I shouldn't hate this star, this one's not even difficult. Here we go. Whatever. Garbage percent is real. No reset garbage percent. Okay, I'm still not going to collect the red coins because now I don't trust myself to have that owl when I want it. Okay, 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 come on now. There we go. No! Just get the thing. No pole dancing, Mario! You can't be pole dancing. It's star collecting time, not pole dancing time. I have ten stars. I can get the wing cap anytime I want now. Alright, time for actual red coins. Here we go. Okay. Garbage percent is real. Okay, got it. Get off a stupid thwomp and let's go get that other one now. And this is fine, you know why? Because I have to come down here to get this one anyway. Okay, if we could actually get it, that would be nice too. 
You missed the tree, Mario. Nice try. Okay. Owl! Hoot hoot. Woot woot! Hoot hoot! drops into the blackness, that's when I drop. There we go. Good reference point. Switch to lack two camera, spin the camera around fast, we gotta go. Alright, let's go. Whee! Good enough. I think I did a turnaround flip when I collected the stars. Why he jumped it's, he jumped so freaking high. Which wasted time. Oh well. Don't sweat the small things. Just get it done. Time to fall into the caged island the same way we did the first thing. Owl! I try to grab the owl without landing, it's just never possible. Nice, okay. Okay. Perfect. If you find a way to do that faster, let me know. Oh boy, time for blast away the wall. Here we go! Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. The ground pound wastes time. I'm actually not trying to ground pound, just waiting for Mario to grab the edge and then let go. Press Z to let go, but anyway. Alright, let's take a risk here. Let's shoot to the star using the cannon. Let's just do it. There we go, nice. Here we go. It wasn't really a risk, I had a reference point for that one. As long as I got my aim correct, I knew I was gonna get it. And that completes Womp's Fortress. We gotta go to Jolly We gotta go do something else now. Regardless of what it would be. I'm thinking Secret Slide. Okay, Mario, can we just get up to the Secret Slide? And Wing Cap course soon. center and then turn around and long jump okay usually that actually works can we get in there here we go the mu annoying music is playing hit the wall slide down and hit the wall again jump that's how it's done baby I think the one thing I love about this slide trick is that it's actually pretty simple once you get used to it Okay, what? Why'd he jump so high? That's annoying me. That's annoying me so much. Oh well. Pretty fast either way, I guess. Now for the red coins here. If we can. Really hope we can. I missed one of them, but that's okay. I think I will have a second chance to pick up that one measly coin. That's a bit annoying, though. Okay, get the thing. Could be better, but not bad so far. Okay. Xbox skip get. I'm getting pretty good at that. That I'm getting pretty good at that little trick there. That always saves time when you can skip the text box from the wing cap switch. Yep. There we go. Perfect slide long jump. I wanted to get that at least once.
This time we're getting the star on the block. Here we go. Here we go. So now we need to finish Bob on Battlefield with Mario Wings to the Sky. And then Jolly Roger Bay. I'd say this is not going too bad so far. It's going all right. It could always be better, but I'd say it's not too bad right now. Well, you know what? You know what I'm doing? I'm going the safe way. I'm not even going to try that strat right now. I'll spend less time doing it consistently. That means I have to do this crap again, but that's okay. I always need more practice at doing this part anyway. Because that happens. That's why I need more practice at it. Nice. Do, do, do. Now this better work. As long as I aim correctly. Go. All right, all right. That's pretty much the best I can hope for at this point. That, that was that was good, right? That's fine. Here we go. I don't think I have anything else to get in Bob on Battlefield. That's all I'm getting, I think. Yeah, that's everything except the red coin star. Time for the secret aquarium. And then Jolly Roger Bay. And then that should be everything, and then we should go fight Bowser. And optionally collect the red coins in the Bowser course? Do I need those? I know it's a slow star, but do I need that star? Or can I get something else? Yay! That was the easy one. That one is just easy. It's easy and fun. Plunder in the sucking ship always comes first, because unless you do it, that ship will never disappear to let you get the other star. Okay, this is fine. Is he out yet? Okay, he's not out yet. I give up. I'm swimming to the surface again. I never know how far away I have to go before he freaking leaves. I find this star slightly irritating because of that. See, suddenly he's just gone. I see him swimming around there, so I know where he went, but I don't know when he left or how or, like, what even. It's so dumb. Like, why even put the eel there? The star would be better if the eel was never there to begin with. Because it's so cryptic, like, how you make him leave. You get close to him, and then you go away from him, and then you come back. Like, what that doesn't make any darn sense. Okay, I was hoping to jump there, it didn't happen. Here we go. Woo! 
Can I open the cannon now? I think I can. Is the bob on buddy there? Yeah, he is. He's, we're good. Okay. Through the jet stream, baby. We're getting that one if we can. Okay, I give up. I, I messed up and didn't get it. Where's the eel? Never mind, let's go to the ocean cave. No one, nothing says we can't. We'll try through the jet stream another time. Ow, what? The angle on that was ridiculous. Oh, holy crap, we got the thing. That could have gone better a little bit. <clears throat> Actually, that could have gone a lot better. I could have just gotten the star that was down there in the bubbles, but I failed. And once I fail to get it, once I get pushed away, I give up. We're gonna try it again right now, though, in fact. Or I could just get Blast of the Stone Pillar over with. I'd be okay with that, too. I know exactly where my aim needs to be. Right about there. Yay for reliable strats. Okay, that freaking hurt. That's new. I didn't get hurt the last time I made last time I made that jump. That's a bit ridiculous. Now the eel can come out to play, maybe, unless I can get through the jet stream. There we go. The slightly tricky one is over with. Now I can actually get the eel to come out to play and all that stuff. Like, I think using the cannon is a very fast way to move. I could be wrong, but I just always do this once it's open. Because it just gets me over there really, really fast. And I like that. I just use the default aim. I don't even change the aim for that shot. Could it be faster if I did change the aim? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Soon. There we go. I only need seven more stars. Was there anything else I was gonna do here? I am not doing red coins, so we're done. I think it's Bowser time. I already got Mario Wings to the Sky, right? So I'm good to go on that one. I'm gonna get the red coins here. I'm going back to that, even though I tried to cut it out of the last run. Might just be better if I just get these. I don't know what that was, but I'm not dead, so I'm okay with it. 
No. Right. Okay, that was really weird. I don't like that. I don't like weird, random weirdness like that. Like Mario was like glitching out on the platform. I, I don't like that because I was not intending to do that. It doesn't serve a purpose. Oh well. If we could not die when making that jump, that's always nice. I have failed that before, believe it or not. Okay, that's the sixth coin. Holy cow, I did not want to die. That was supposed to be a kick. Don't scare me like that, Mario. Now we just have to not suck at fighting Bowser a few times. Once here, once in the fire sea, and then really good in the, um, the sky. The thousand year door will continue at some point, don't worry. So today is the day I do Jackbox stuff, but I want to squeeze in a Super Mario 64 speedrun before I do that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Missed me, Bowser. You're too slow. The one millennium door will continue at some point. The 100 decade door will continue at some point. The 10 century door. I think this is faster, I don't actually know. <clears throat> and with that, we're going downstairs. Only need six more stars. I can get two of them inside of Hazy Maze Cave, one from the Toad, and then like three stars in Lethal Lava Land. And we might just catch this rabbit, we'll see. Okay, let's not do that. I caught the rabbit, guys! I got a free star that I usually don't get. That means I can cut one of my other stars out of the run. I finally caught the safety bunny. And I call it the safety bunny. Because it's a safety star. It's one that I will attempt to get, but won't cry if I fail at it. That means one of these stars here I don't have to get. Or the star in the hazy maze cave I don't have to get. Basically, there's now one star that I don't have to get because I caught the rabbit. That's amazing. Now I'm almost dead, but I'm gonna get the red coins. We're fine. Also fly in there for safety reasons. Here we go! Means any star on this course that I think is slow, I should consider skipping. Since I caught the rabbit. I don't know what I'll do. I'm definitely gonna get red hat red hot log rolling because that was pretty easy. Red hot rog rolling, rut row raggy! Okay, early ground pound is early. Mario, can we just get on top of the stupid thing? Holy cow. There we go. We 
can fly over the thing right here. Here we go! I might just boil the big bully. That shouldn't take long at all. I can cut out Bully the Bullies, though, because that star is kind of annoying. That's what I might do. Since I caught the rabbit, I can skip a star. Okay, the Bully didn't die. That's a oh, now he's dead! The burning butt strat somehow worked. Don't ask me how. I feel like PB is very much alive. I'm not sure though. Hard to tell without splits. I got three stars in Lethal Lava Land. I'm done. I'm done. We're going to Hazy Maze. I only need one star inside Hazy Maze Cave. Because there's a free star from Toad here. Oh hey, thanks for the host, Wazzy. Okay, Mario, just go in this stupid course. I'm gonna play it safe and just go for wall kicks will work. I should be long jumping right now, good grief. Okay, okay, we're good. I thought I was gonna die there for a moment. Fall into the pit. Ow! Come on. Here we go. 30 stars. 30 stars. There's only one more to get, and it is Bored Bowser's sub. Mostly just because I can't skip that star, otherwise I would. Gotta go back downstairs, though, and fight the second Bowser. Hopefully make it a good run of the course, and some good, like, just one good Bowser, Bowser throw is all it's gonna take. One good Bowser throw. Booyah. 13 minutes left of what? I have no idea what's going on. Time to board Bowser sub, baby. This is the last actual star we are getting. Last one. And we fight Bowser twice. But we could still fail at 50 star door skip for a while and lose a ton of time, so... I'm not gonna get my hopes up for a PB. That and the endless stairs can just sometimes suck for bypassing them. 50 star door skip is not gonna be fun. Unless I get lucky. That skip is just no fun at all. It's worth it, though. Oh, ten minutes left until that. You're right. Um, true. So I still have ten minutes to spare, and I don't think it's going to take me another ten minutes, but I could easily be wrong. We'll see. There's the last star. Ain't getting any more. That's it. I got that lucky rabbit catch, I think, saved me a ton of time, so this may actually be an easy PB. We'll see. Oh my gosh, you gotta get... No! No! Just get up there! Holy cow! That has never happened to me before. I have never failed at that part. Okay, Mario, can we long jump? Please. There we go, that's all we had to do. Come on now, please. Mario. 
we'll just we'll jump. Ah, uh, okay, fine, whatever. What do you want, Mario? Oh my gosh, what is this? Gotta go fast, Mario, not slow. Did I get here early or late? Why am I not able to just go? Why is this thing down? Usually if I time it correctly, it'll just already be up. Oh well. Was I just so fast that I got there early, or was I slow and I got there late? I can't tell. Okay, what? Just go then. So we still have like eight minutes or whatever, nine or eight, eight or nine minutes, whatever. Guess we'll see what happens. Boing! Mario, why are you not grabbing his tail? Come on. You have to grab his tail before you can do anything. How did that miss? It was right there. Oh well. Just die, you insufferable piece of garbage. Talk to me, please. Do the thing, give me the key. I gotta go upstairs and try that stupid 50 star door skip. Don't have all day now, Bowser. Plus, I have to beat the final Bowser, which requires good throws. <laughs> At least one good throw. Key get. Frickin' Mario, every single time. Doesn't want me to get that new peanut butter. Okay, here, here's the crappy crap, crap, crappity crap part. The freaking bullcrap nonsense, random RNG bullcrap. Let's go. Let's skip the door right away. All right, all right, all right, well. It's okay. Okay, that was almost good. What happened? Wow, it's not going well. It never goes well. It's not a surprise. The thing. Yo, fiery facade. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the sport clone army, whatever that may be. All right, all right, we did it. We did it. We did it. Holy cow! Now we gotta bypass the endless stairs, which is less difficult. Endless stairs bypass. Go. Accelerate properly? What is this? This is cringeworthy bullcrap. Come on. Go. 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 Holy cow, Mario. Freaking killing me over here, Mario. How ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous infinite. It has never taken me that long to bypass the endless stairs. That's ridiculous. 50 star door skip, maybe, but endless stairs? Come on, the endless stairs is easy. It's the easy compared to the 50 star door skip. Okay, Mario, can we just. Do thing. Thank you. Did you 
just get up there, please. Right. Well, I still have four minutes? That's not bad. If I get close to PB, even if it's not quite a new personal best, I'll just know that that lucky rabbit catch was lucky. Because I can't seem to do that consistently for that downstairs rabbit, so I usually don't even get that star on a run. Alright. Okay, okay, I didn't go far enough. There we go. So far, so good. Dude, Nickelback fan, I haven't seen you in forever. I was starting to wonder what happened to you. I got the notification that you were streaming earlier. I wanted to drop by, but I was preoccupied. Anyway, welcome back, dude. How have you been? Like, aside from Twitch, how have you been? I think you've been cutting back on the streaming just because you weren't enjoying it as much or something, so you wanted to take a break, which is understandable. Da -da -da -da! Like, my arms actually hurt from mashing A for that infinite stairs to skip. I'm not even kidding, my, my hand or... Something hurts. Something hurts really badly. Alright, cool. Why am I suddenly good at throwing Bowser? What kind of sorcery is this? Okay, where's the nearest bomb? The nearest bomb, I think, is that one. If I miss this, rip. Well then, it's not gonna be 47 minutes. I was hoping for 48. Well, that was cool. I like the way that turned out. Can I reach that bomb there, or should I go for it? No, that one's gone. Oh, come on! Yeah, I'm gonna lose two minutes on fighting Bowser. That's tragic. Look, we just have to throw him into the bomb, Mario. You have one job. Just please do it. He's dead. New PB is guaranteed. New PB is guaranteed. New PB confirmed, guys. It's gonna be sub-49. You haven't been streaming recently because you've been going over the data cap? Oh, I see. Well... Sub-48! And I died once somewhere in there, didn't I? Sub 48! You got 28 wins? Nice. New record in Tetris for like versus endurance single player. There you go, 28 wins. You know, for a while I think I was stuck at 28 wins and I finally managed to push myself up to 32. And then I reached 35 on stream, which was cool. So we're gonna let the credits play out, because that was a new new record for me. So we're, we're gonna let it play. And while I'm at it, I can change my PB on the stream. It is no longer 49.36.73. It is, this is gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> it is now 47. 58. And 0 .02, but no one cares. PB has been changed. Updated. That's just a piece of text I manually update. That's fine. So, like, aside from the infinite... Aside from the endless stairs and the 50-star door skip, how much fail was actually in that run? Did I die once on Cool Cool Mountain with the penguin? Was it, I don't remember you. what happened, but... Thank you, Mario. New PB is new PB, we though. Have to do for you. Oh, if you want to speedrun something in, in, in Puyo Puyo Tetris... At least, at least in terms of Tetris, um... There's marathon mode, there's 150 lines. But if you go somewhere else, you can do a 40-line speedrun. Or something like that. I think I tried that a few times. It was fun.
So part of what made that a PB was getting lucky and actually catching the rabbit instantly in the downstairs portion of the castle. Usually when I dive to get that rabbit first thing, I will miss him and he will escape. So in order to beat the PB, I have to catch that rabbit every time. Or catch that rabbit next time. Because catching that rabbit and getting that star allows me to just cut one of the other stars out of the run and save time. And that rabbit is a fast star. It's a very fast star. You just catch him and boom, that's it. So... I got things to think about, I guess, in terms of route. I hate having to rely on that rabbit, though. If I miss the first dive on that rabbit, I will literally give up on catching him, because I'm not going to chase him all around the basement. That's not my thing. Chasing the rabbit is just... You know what? I like riddles. Why not just go ahead and tell me that riddle? I don't actually think there's much RNG in this game, unless you're talking about enemy movement. And I'm not reliant on enemy movement to beat this. Enemy movement is pretty much irrelevant. I'm not stomping Goombas to collect coins. I'm killing the big bob on boss, but he's not random. He's consistent. 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens. Thirty... 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens, who didn't? 28 chickens who didn't what? Is that the riddle? I don't understand the riddle. I'm gonna log into Steam, so if the game seems to lag or, like, stutter, it's because I'm logging into Steam while the emulator is running. And I gotta log into Steam for Jackbox Party Pack, so that's that, that's the reason for that. Thirty cows in a field, twenty-eight chickens. Who didn't? All right, all right, I know the answer to this riddle. I'm gonna go with yes. That is my answer. The answer is yes. That's the answer to the riddle, I'm just yes. No, it's the right answer. Yes is the right answer. Why? Because I said so. Thank you so much for to playing my game. Thank you so much for to listening to my broken English for no reason. Because I'm Charles Martinet and I know how to speak English. Mamma mia. Anyway.